Good morning, everyone, uh, and welcome to today's public hearing. Uh, it's now 11 a.m. on Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. My name is Matthew Finkel. I'm an executive agency counsel here with the New York City Business Integrity Commission, and joining me today is Director of Policy, Nicole Mathias. Uh, as this hearing is being held remotely, I will ask that all of our virtual guests ensure that they are muted at all times unless specifically called upon to contribute. The Business Integrity Commission, commonly known as BIC, is conducting this hearing as required by the rules of the City of New York. Pursuant to these rules, BIC must hold a public hearing every odd numbered year prior to October 31st regarding the maximum rates charged by private trade waste carters for the collection, removal, and disposal of trade waste. For simplicity, this will be referred to today as the rate cap. The current rate cap was put into effect in October 2022. BIC published the notice for this hearing in the city record on September 11th, 2023. We also circulated a copy of the notice via email to New York City local elected officials, the 59 community board managers, various media organizations, and other interested parties. And lastly, a copy of the hearing notice was posted on our website. The hearing today is intended to provide interested parties, including private trade waste carters and the customers they serve, an opportunity to present their positions on the rate cap. This allows the Commission to gain a better understanding of the state of the commercial trade waste industry and specifically the impact of the current rate cap thereon. New York City rules outlined some of the factors that BIC may consider when evaluating the rate cap, which include the producer price index, available data on the trade waste industry, and any other factors that may be relevant to assessing a fair and reasonable return to licensees and the protection of customers from unreasonable charges. The rules also state that proponents of a change to the rate cap bear the burden of demonstrating on an industry-wide basis that existing rates are inconsistent with the standards for maximum rates. As such, we are here to listen to you on this issue. Uh, we especially welcome any statements supported by studies and empirical data. This hearing is the beginning of our fact gathering process on the issue. We will continue to have more discussions with interested parties after this hearing. And after we've gathered all pertinent information, we will then be in a position to decide how to adjust the rate cap or to allow it to remain unchanged. Uh, we do have a court reporter present with us today and she will transcribe the hearing. Uh, we're taking a video recording of the hearing as well, and uh, you may present an oral statement or submit written comments. In addition to any statements made today, the Commission will be accepting written comments until November 13th, 2023 at close of business. Um, and with that, my colleague, Director of Policy, Nicole Mathias, will begin calling upon those who wish to speak. OK, so I'm going to call on folks in the order in which uh, they signed up ahead of time. And then if anyone else would like to speak, you will have the opportunity opportunity to do so. Uh, so first up, David Biederman, uh, you have the floor. If you could please state your name and affiliation and please speak clearly so the court reporter can transcribe your comments. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, my name is David Biederman with Biederman uh, Consulting LLC. Uh, good morning. Um, I'm appearing today on behalf of the following licensees, Century Waste Services, D&D Carding, m and Sanitation, and Mr. T Carding. These licensees will be submitting written comments in early November that support their request for a rate cap increase well above the 35 to 4% that the New York City Producer Price Index or CPI have increased since August of 2022. Licensees and others in the solid waste industry believe that the BIC often defaults to these indexes when adjusting the rate cap every few years, even though the two principal cost components for carters are labor and disposal, which have little correlation with certainly consumer prices. Before I briefly outline licensees' two major arguments for an above index rate cap increase, it's important to remind the BIC that although its periodic rate cap increases are greatly appreciated, they always occur after the fact. The cost of operating a solid waste company in New York City increases annually, but relief in the form of a rate cap adjustment is almost is always prospective. The industry is always playing catch up. For example, over the past few months, carters have incurred new and unanticipated costs to provide containers to tens of thousands of customers due to the Department of Sanitation's new waste containerization rules. 
the licensee's written comments, which we, we will be submitting in early November, focus on two key cost components. First, disposal costs. The cost of disposing waste and recycling in the New York City metropolitan area has increased substantially since August 2022. Transfer stations, waste to energy facilities, and recycling facilities have all increased their tip fees substantially over the past year. The vast majority of carters do not own or operate disposal facilities and therefore do not benefit from the additional tip fee revenue. Many carters, including most of the licensees who I'm representing here today, are paying in excess of $100 per ton at area disposal facilities. Licensees preliminary analysis suggests tip fees have increased by more than 15% since last summer. And there is every reason to believe that these tip fees will continue to rise in the months ahead. Licensees written comments will provide specific data that support the assertion that tip fees have risen substantially over the past year and are likely to continue rising this year for the remainder of this year and into 2024. Second, licensees written comments will review the impact of congestion pricing on carters who collect waste and recycling south of 60th Street in Manhattan. As we suspect the BIC is aware, government officials intend to impose a new toll next year on virtually every vehicle that operates in Manhattan south of 60th Street. This congestion pricing program is intended to reduce traffic in Manhattan and provide a new funding source for the MTA. The MTA's Traffic Mobility Review Board met last week, and it appears congestion pricing will begin by April of 2024. Congestion pricing for trucks, including garbage trucks, is expected to be three times the amount charged to regular cars. Now, the precise amount of this new charge for both cars and trucks has not yet been precisely determined. However, what is certain is carters that collect waste in much of Manhattan will be forced to pay a substantial new expense on a daily basis. In total, congestion pricing will add millions of dollars in new costs for carters with customers in Manhattan south of 60th Street. Carters should not be forced to wait until a future rate cap increase in 2026 to cover these new expenses. This pending rate cap evaluation by the BIC needs to take this new, imminent, and substantial cost increase into account. And license, the licensee's written comments will, that we will be submitting in November will provide additional specific data and suggestions to the BIC on various approaches to this issue. The industry appreciated how quickly the BIC acted last year to adjust the rate cap to reflect higher operating costs. And we asked the BIC to do so again and move swiftly in proposing and implementing a meaningful rate cap increase in the coming months. Thank you for the opportunity to submit this testimony this morning. Thank you, David. Uh, so you were the only person who had uh, requested ahead of time to speak. Is there anyone else on the call who would like to uh, testify today? Okay, uh, Andy Moss, uh, the floor is yours. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Nicole. Uh, my name is Andy Moss. I am with Waste Connections of New York, and I am here this morning to urge the business Integrity Commission to increase the rate cap. Uh, we will be submitting written testimony later this month or early November. But I did want to mention briefly today uh, that the Federal Bureau of Labor Statistics publishes a producer price index specifically for the solid waste collection industry, which gives an accurate, highly relevant picture of the cost pressures that the uh, solid waste industry is experiencing. And I just wanted to note that from September to September, that index uh, has increased slightly over 9%. That's in one year time. Uh, that's it. That's all I have for today. Uh, but as I mentioned, we will be submitting written testimony. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, last call. Is there anyone else who would like to speak today? Uh, please speak up now or you may put a message in the chat. Going once. Going twice. 
Okay, um, seeing none, we are going to uh, close the record for this hearing. As we mentioned, BIC will be accepting written comments on this topic through November 13th of 2023. Uh, thank you all very much for joining today. Uh, and that concludes today's virtual hearing. Thank you, everyone. The time is 1110. Thank you.